Device addiction, also known as smartphone addiction or internet addiction, refers to excessive and compulsive use of electronic devices such as smartphones, tablets, computers, and gaming consoles. It often involves spending an excessive amount of time on these devices, to the detriment of other important activities such as work, socializing, or physical exercise. Symptoms may include constantly checking notifications, difficulty focusing on tasks without the device, neglecting real-life responsibilities, and experiencing anxiety when separated from the device. Treatment may involve therapy, behavioral interventions, and establishing healthier habits around device use. The Hook from the Developer Perspective App developers create their app to be like a trap, it's designed to entangle users in it, so that they just keep using the app, because the more they get their attention, the more money they can make. You see, when people use an app for a long time a large audience is generated. This audience generated is good for monetization, An active audience participation means good time investment by individual users of the app. There are actually two type of app users in terms of purchasing power. Huh? Which is low and high, according to statistics it is said that kids have low purchasing power because they are likely to watch ads to continue playing their fun game app than paying for premium. This can be because they're underage below the working age, and because kids generally just want to have fun, this age category can be targeted for ads monetization. The other group is categorized with having high purchasing power, they are mostly huh? the adult group expected to be able to purchase premium subscription, rather pay that. Watch ads, they're the willing purchasers. Having a large group with high purchasing power is good, but having a mixed group of audience with both high and low is even better, because it means that the application accepted by all ages, this will make it even more popular and widely used. A prime example is YouTube and TikTok, this are well-known application across the globe, now coming from a regular user perspective which is a normal viewer, he only has one goal in mind to watch videos that are fun to him, let's say he enjoys videos such as football and movies and his previous watch time is based on that category. The algorithm is designed to feed him with more of similar videos from different content creators, this way they get more of his time and attention, which means higher chances of maximizing monetization from one particular individual. You see, ads is one way this giant social media platforms breathe, in fact it is a major way they make money, different advertisers come to YouTube and TikTok to advertise, and they ensure to show those ads to their viewing audience, engaging them in different videos of their interest therefore retaining their time and attention. The use of modern technology, including devices like smartphones, tablets, and computers, can have both positive and negative effects on children. On one hand, technology can provide educational opportunities, entertainment, and connectivity with others. However, excessive or unmonitored use can lead to negative consequences such as decreased physical activity, social isolation, and exposure to inappropriate content. To mitigate the potential negative effects of technology on children, here are some simple solutions. 1. Establish clear boundaries, set specific rules and limits on screen time for different activities, e.g., homework, leisure, and enforce them consistently. 2. Encourage balance, encourage children to engage in a variety of activities beyond screen time, such as outdoor play, sports, hobbies, and spending time with family and friends. 3. Monitor content. Regularly check the content your child is accessing online and use parental controls or filtering software to block inappropriate content. 4. Foster open communication. Create a safe and supportive environment where children feel comfortable discussing their online experiences and any concerns they may have. By implementing these simple solutions, parents can help ensure that their children enjoy the benefits of modern technology while minimizing its potential negative impact. The use of modern technology, including devices like smartphones and social media platforms, can both positively and negatively impact friendships. Positive impacts include the ability to stay connected with friends regardless of distance, share experiences in real time, and easily coordinate plans. Technology can also facilitate the discovery of shared interests and allow for the formation of new friendships. However, excessive use of technology can also have negative effects. It may lead to reduced face-to-face -face interaction, feelings of isolation or FOMO, fear of missing out, and a decline in the quality of communication. Simple solutions to maintain healthy friendships in the digital age include 1. Setting boundaries. Establish specific times for technology use and prioritize in-person interactions when possible. 2. Quality over quantity. Focus on the quality of communication rather than the quantity of interactions. Take the time to engage in meaningful conversations and truly listen to your friends. 3. Balance screen time. 
Limit the amount of time spent on devices and social media each day to ensure that it doesn't interfere with spending time with friends or engaging in other activities. By being mindful of how technology affects friendships and implementing simple strategies to maintain healthy relationships, we can enjoy the benefits of modern technology while preserving the bonds with those we care about. If you enjoyed this video ensure to like comment and subscribe, it takes a lot of effort to make this video. Thanks and see you all in the next one.